glad that a Gucci Rayquaza emote has, has yet to happen. Speaking it's, of Rayquaza. It's because I hey, couldn't make it look good, but maybe for the $25 sub. Hey, I've said Gucci Kenta personally. <laughs> That'd be pretty good, too. Just a salty Kenta face. I played the fifth. <laughs> But we're going to have uh, Meek versus Rayquaza. And Meek, honestly, I think he might be one of the, the players who could take a set from Rayquaza. And Rayquaza obviously being yeah. probably the most dominant force in Michigan right now, at, at least as, like, as far as Michigan players who actually come to Michigan events. Yeah. I feel like he has the movement to deal with how Rayquaza plays, to be honest. Like right there, just the slow walk away. Just to be close enough where it's like, this might hit, but it might not. I'm going to throw it out, and then it doesn't, and Meek's like, hey, I got the free punish now. Yeah, we've seen it like uh, like the top levels of play with the, with the buzz and fatality. And this matchup is actually not that bad for uh, Captain Falcon. In fact, it might even yes. be like pretty close to even. Until that happens, Chief. Down here hitting him through the platform and killing him there. Yeah, that is probably Rosalina's best like position in this matchup, is her amazing edge guards on Captain Falcon. Yeah. And I mean, as long as Meek's able to stay on the stage, I feel like Ooh, he just things got like that, things like that can happen. And that's just why Captain Falcon can do well in this matchup. It's just Ooh. the fact that uh, Rosalina's at that like weird floaty light percent where down throw knee can work. Yeah. But right now, Meek doing everything he can to keep Ray out of neutral here and off the stage. Oh, no. Oh, he wanted the sweet spot on the knee to. Yeah. Nice up air to cover uh, himself while he's recovering. Oh my god. That's always the most frustrating when you hit away Rosa and the Luma just floats there menacingly. Wow, and just like yeah. that, the Luma hitbox wow. perfectly sending uh, Meek in a position for Rayquaza to edge guard. Yeah. That's just so scary for uh, <laughs> when your Captain Falcon fighting against a Rosa is when uh, one can put out their Luma like that and yeah. just throw out a hitbox when you're recovering. Yeah, I mean, honestly, anybody off stage against Rosa, just because of how much space that down air covers. Yeah, it's kind of crazy. And Rayquaza is really good at hitting that. Like you cannot oh, no deny doubt. that. No doubt. But here we go, game two, going to Town and City here, getting the concert from KK Spider in the background. Oh yeah, it's, it's Saturday night. And the music's ready. <laughs> oh, yep, just sharking under these platforms with up air. Captain Falcon does have a little bit of trouble landing. Ooh, running into that nair there. I swear, that is just such a nice move, just because of how long it stays out. And the fact that it hits in front of you twice. Yeah, the thing like with a lot of like Rosalina's aerials is the fact that like they're just so huge and persistent that you just have to respect them, and there's not yeah. really much you can do to contest them. Yeah, and that's really the challenging thing about fighting Rosa. You have to respect every single option that she has. Yeah, and it's so difficult to challenge it unless you have a very large disjoint. Yeah, or if you at the very least get rid of the Luma. Yeah. Nice use of the uppy there to get him away from the ledge there. Right. Look at that, just so many fake outs there as he's approaching. Yeah, Rayquaza managing to hold on to a lot of time there, like for Luma to respawn, like as he just kind of crouched away yep. and didn't approach me. Oh, Ooh. nice weight on the up air, but very nice survival DI from Rayquaza. Wow, getting that third hit of the jab. Yeah. I, I think that Ray may have been expecting a jab, jab, run forward, grab, but dropping yeah. that shield. Yeah, Meek went for it all there, and he did manage to get it. He's off stage at a very bad angle. This could be it. Oh, oh. <laughs> great tech from Meek. Wow, he got the perfect recovery angle there. <laughs> Meek ma managing to make it past Jeez. that, get on stage. Yeah, so he's definitely living on borrowed time right now after that recovery. So let's see how much he can tack on here. Yeah, I mean, I feel like any like significant percent is going to do wonders for Meek. I mean, heck, even the 18% he has right now is a godsend, in my opinion. I, I feel like Meek isn't going to be anticipating losing the stock Ooh. anytime soon, but <laughs> Rayquaza saying no to that, getting that up smash on the platform, calling Meek out Ooh. for his overextension. Yeah, that was a bold move by Meek there, using the up B against Rosa on a platform like that. All these wow. up airs. Catching uh, Rayquaza's jump too, but Rayquaza's going to land with that back air. Oh, looking for that up air. Wow, I'm surprised he was actually able to catch Falcon out of that up air, because it's so easy to just cancel that when you land and just get a jab right out. Yeah. I think one thing that Meek needs to like look out for is just like he go, goes for like these aggressive options that like are very close to working, but 
as soon as like he whiffs them, he doesn't think about how Rayquaza can punish afterwards. Yeah, because I mean, if you don't think about the downside of the risk that you're taking and just only think about the upside, you're going to find yourself in some horrible situations. Oh, and again, going for that F smash. Well, not again, that was the first one he went for, but yeah. a, a risky option that he went for. Yeah, and now he's off the stage because of that platform. Oh, oh no. no, and he fast fell too far below the stage. Me cracking a little bit there, unfortunately. <laughs> yeah. He definitely had a good game going there, yeah, but yeah. it just seemed like he couldn't get that last hit. He was